So, let's just finish off this journal, doing the covers. I'm going to glue down a piece of scrapbook and paper that I've just found. Uh, oh, this is the outside, isn't it? Okay, that's fine. Or is it the inside? Could I use it as the inside? Do I want it as the inside? Um, yes, I want the eye on the inside. Let's see what I mean in a second. Make sure plenty of glue or gel medium I should say right to the edges drying a little bit quickly and the cardboard just absorbed it now I'm gonna pop this on here. Make sure they quite like the eye and I've got no idea what else to use it for, so why not? Let's try and get this one straight, shall we? There we go. This is from a paper pad that I got from B and M. Your local B&M may not have them anymore because they did go on sale. And now I've got everything stuck to the front of this piece of paper because I'm such a messy crafter. Which is dried up, so I'm going to add some water. Try and get some of that glue off. Oh, I'm leaving the page. Okay. <laughs> it's not going well. It's not going well. Okay, sorry if you can hear the boiler. Someone's running the hot tap downstairs. got some dots on it so I think I'm going to add to that. Let's grab the vintage photo. I think I'm going to try and not overthink this one. Just do it nice and quick.
Stencils stacked up here for another project, so let's just grab those. Ooh, some bubble wrap. Right. Let's go for some numbers. And very burlap. Yes, I'm liking it so far. Stays on in ganache. burlap around the edges A lot of videos at the minute um, with the intention of editing over my Christmas holiday, which is going to be fun. 
I'm gonna I'm just sort of filming whenever I can. In, you know, days off and stuff. Today's a day off work, and I've been baking a cake for son's birthday. So hence it's extremely dark now, which is why I have my lamp on, and hopefully the lighting's not too bad for you. Right. Let me just see if I can find my new stamp. I'll be back. I had to fiddle about a bit because I had to plug it in. The battery died. Couldn't find my new stamp, so we'll use this one. Going for the stays on again. The lids are so tight, and I always end up with it on my fingers. Um, just want to try this. It's my new stamp that I made. With some kitties air drying foamy clay and it seems to work pretty nice. I've got this one that I made as well. I was afraid to laugh again. There we go. And I think I'm going to leave that at that and just add this 
sentiment. Here. The first step in the journey, because this is my first mission inspiration journal, and I think this is going to be a journey for me that I will continue next year. <laughs> And I'm going to put a date stamp on it for once. Right there. There we go. That's that side done. And... And... Just need um, something... This will do. Set that off a bit. There we go. And now I will do the other side. I think I'm going to use the top part of the page for this bit. For the back. And we'll probably do a similar thing to the other side. Get some John medium. Stuff it on. I have punched my holes out again so that I don't lose where they are. feel like I just want to keep churning out videos today so I may go straight on to creating next year's Mission Inspiration Journal to be honest. I feel like it. I'm in the mood. <laughs> Although I might get called down for dinner in a minute. <laughs> we shall see. And then we'll find the scissors. What did we do with the scissors? Oh. There we go. Now, even though it was the same page. Sort of a almost an ombre effect, I think I'd guess. Um, so the top of the page is a different colour to the bottom. We'll just uh, get rid of anything that's wet. So I think I'm going to grab some different colours this time. And I think I'm going to stick with the frayed burlap a little as well. This camera feels way too close to me. Um, okay. Glue on it already. So this is going to be the back, back of the journal. So let's just go in. Something 
interesting. Oh. Nice, I like that. Um, should we add a bit more of that over here? Try and hold the stencil still this time. Nice, nice, lovely. I turned it the other way around. Just do a bit up here. Okay, uh, let's go with this stencil, have I got a thing for that one yet? No. So, let's see, what have we got? got this bit of sponge that looks like it's been used for everything. <laughs> Is the dots that are already on the page sort of thing, so that's nice. Let's um, <laughs> get the numbers again. Add some of this salty ocean. Again, the same salty ocean. And now I'm going to 
grab my stays on. And where have I put that now? Oh dear me. And put it somewhere. to this one first look I think I'd look around um where on earth did I put that I'll find it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I have you looked at me like twice. This become quite a busy background, this one. <laughs> Find a focal point now, so let me have a little rummage around and I will be back in a moment. Okay, so this is from another one of those pads. Uh, where is it? No, not that one. This one. Takes a while I'll speed up. Okay, so that looks good. And I think I want the chevrons again. Let's go with the peacock again. Maybe just a little bit up there. So if you can hear noises downstairs, they're just having a lot of conversation. Always oh, sounds like they're shouting. <laughs>
There we go. Let's mop up the excess. Call that almost done. <laughs> Let's just quickly swipe the edges. enjoyed that and I hope you've enjoyed the mission inspirations and I hope to see you soon. See you next year for these. Bye bye.